Before I get into today's video, remember to follow me on Twitter. So my Twitter, the link is in the description below. You can also find me. My handle is at Jackson Kruger. Come over, say hi. And anyways, back to your regularly scheduled video. All right, let's talk some Terrence Marshall Jr. I was very high on him uh, coming into the draft. Uh, I had him ahead of Devonta Smith just to show how high I was on him. And I've liked what I've seen so far in, in a little, you know, a small sample size, admittedly. Uh, not perfect. Uh, there is one flaw I have to bring up. But for the most part, things have gone, I would say, well, I would say as expected in the preseason. And I'm looking forward to seeing some more of him. So let's just talk about what he's done so far. So like, we'll start off with this. Marshall is in motion. And this was easily the worst part of Marshall's game in the preseason. Not much of a blocker from what we've seen so far, which, you know, listen, he's a big wide receiver. He wears the number 88. You're expecting him to come in and block guys out of the way. You are. It hasn't really worked out that way so far, through, you know, again, from what little we've seen of him. On this play, I've circled him and just uh, watch what happens right here. Quite frankly, this does not go exactly as planned. He is not able to make that block, and it is in part of why they weren't able to get the touchdown right there. So again, how big of a deal is it having a wide receiver who isn't blocking too well? I don't know. And again, he's big, so I would hope that he can sort of learn that stuff. But it's definitely something that was noticeable when I was watching him every snap in this preseason game. So just figured I'd bring it up. All right, now let's move on to this play. A couple of his plays were screen passes, which, again, you could argue how much do I really care about that stuff? I care about it. I find it interesting, and he did well in it. So what's going to happen on this play is that it's actually kind of a, a lottery scenario for Carolina because there's going to be a screen pass, but the way they're doing this, there's actually a defensive back blitz with the player who's lined up against Marshall is going to be blitzing on this play. Marshall goes to the outside, catches the screen pass, and then it's actually a defensive back who's further deep who's going to pick up Marshall. But because of that, there's more space. There's yards to gain here. And watch, right when this play starts. So Marshall, you know, makes the catch. That part is a given. You you hope he can make, a, make the catch on this one. And now you see 32 for Baltimore coming in, trying to make this play. And what's good about this from Marshall is that he's just going to understand what to do and he's going to make a good move on this one. Because Marshall was running towards the sideline, 32 saw that, he starts running towards the sideline, now Marshall sees this, and watch how he's going to counter it. Just runs back to the inside a little bit, but it's a good move, and it allows him to get more yards. Had he just ran, uh, you know, further towards the sideline, he probably gets quickly tackled. And also worth mentioning, that's not some scrub, that's their starting safety, Deshaun Elliott. So, uh, it's a good move. Again, how big of a deal is it? I'll let you be the judge, but a good move in open space there. There is also this one. It's another screen pass. Uh, you know, this time you have multiple blockers, and they're actually going to kind of screw this up a little bit. The blockers are not uh, Marshall. Watch. So right when this play starts, Marshall again makes the catch, and uh, you see. So this I've circled him, and both blockers that were in front of him are blocking the same guy, which clearly is a mistake. That's not what they were trying to do on a third down and twelve. So someone screwed up, and now Marshall, what can you really do right here? Not a ton. You're not going to gain as, you know, a bunch of yards. You hope you just gain more than a couple. But watch this move. Sort of just, you know, makes a small move and dives forward, picks up a good amount of yards. Nothing crazy, but some little things and some good nuggets to see right here. So we're definitely sort of building a portfolio of what Marshall can do. So appears to be a guy who can be effective on the, in the screen passing game. Again, we would like to see his blocking get a little bit better so he can really be effective in the screen passing game, even when he doesn't have the ball in his hands. But that stuff, I would say, uh, very good stuff. And then there's this play, which, I mean, let's just be honest. This was the play. This is the play that made me say I got to make a video on him. It was an incredible play. So the play itself is simple. It's I don't have the whole play on the field, but it's a cover one blitz scenario. So it's a one-on-one -on -one matchup, Marshall on the outside. And, uh, you know, one of the crazy things about Marshall is he has this incredible combination of height and speed. And it's, you know, that's kind of what makes him so effective. That's why I'm so high on him because th those are just things you can't teach. You can learn how to be a better route runner. You can learn how to be a better blocker. You can't learn how to be faster 
for the most part, you can get a little bit better at it, but not too much better. And you certainly can't learn how to get taller. So the fact that he has both of those things is great. And it really works at the NFL level. And this is going to be a great example of this. And admittedly, he is going up against a fringe NFL player in Chris Chris. Westry, who was an undrafted free agent in 2019, has got, only gotten a, a you know a handful of snaps in his NFL career and hasn't done much with them. So uh, you know it, it's not exactly incredible talent he's going up against. But still, watch what happens right when this play starts. This is just going to be speed. He gets a clean release and watch him just run by uh, Westry right there. Uh, and again, that's what he can do. He can run by you, and he has good ball skills as well. This one was a perfect catch, so or excuse me, a perfect pass, so it didn't take uh, a great catch from him, but he can make those great catches as well, and that's certainly something that can get you excited if you're a Panthers fan. The fact that he can do stuff like that, it is very promising. So again, uh, will he be able to do it against top-tier corners? Well, we'll have to wait and see, but at least he can do it against bottom-tier corners, which is certainly a start. I mean, you know, we've gotten most of our evaluation from someone like Marshall due to what he can do against uh, college corners, so I think it's fair to say at least that this is, you know, promising given the fact that obviously a fringe NFL player is a great college player, essentially. So yeah, I mean, listen, is this the most uh, incredible game ever? Of course not. Is it the preseason? Yes. But I thought that Marshall looked good out there. He looked like I could clearly see what value he brings to the Carolina Panthers already, which, you know, not every rookie comes in and immediately has an impact. Uh, wide receivers can take some time to develop. He seems to be, he looks comfortable out there. I would say that it's, he looks promising for sure. Uh, I think that I would be excited about Marshall if I was a Panthers fan. What's especially interesting about Marshall for me is just how many people passed on him. I mean, he was the 59th pick taken. I don't understand that whatsoever. And you even have a wide, couple wide receivers selected right before him, like Tutu Atwell uh, and uh, Dwayne Estridge, uh, even Rondell Moore, who he's had a solid preseason as well. Uh, so I'm a little surprised that those guys went ahead of Marshall, though. I think Marshall looks really good. And again, he's having good preseason. He seems like the kind of guy... I remember, I'm not saying he'll be this good, but I remember DK Metcalf, uh, pretty much everyone was high on him pre-draft. He falls to the second round and everyone's surprised, but then he's still good. I think Marshall could be a similar thing like that where we all expect him to be good, then he falls and some people are saying, wait, do they know something we don't? And it turns out, no, he's he is good. Uh, so I, I think he'll be good. That's my opinion. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.